Hi, today I'm going to show you how to work out the nth term of a quadratic number sequence. The formula of a quadratic number sequence will be a n squared plus b n plus c. So we just need to figure out the values of a, b and c. And a quadratic number sequence is a sequence where the second differences are the same. So let's work out the nth term of this number sequence which we have here. So it goes 7, 20, 39, 64 and 95. So to begin with let's work out the first differences. So the difference between 7 and 20 is 13. The difference between 20 and 39 is 19. The difference between 39 and 64 is 25. And the difference between 64 and 95 is 31. So let's now calculate the second differences. So the difference between 13 and 19 is 6. The difference between 19 and 25 is also 6. And the difference between 25 and 31 is also 6. So you can see then that the second differences are all the same so we know that this is a quadratic sequence. And we can also use the second difference to figure out the value of a. And to get a all we need to do is half the second difference. So half of 6 is 3. So this will tell us that the first bit of our formula is 3n squared. So I'm now going to use this to figure out the values of b and c now. So let me just copy down our sequence one more time. So our first term was 7, our second term was 20, our third term was 39, our fourth term was 64, and our fifth term in our sequence was 95. So I'm now going to figure out the values of 3n squared. So we can work out the values of 3n squared by subbing in the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5. Okay, so if we sub in 1 we get 3 times 1 squared. That will give us 3. If we sub in 2 we get 3 times 2 squared which gives us 12. If we sub in 3 we get 3 times 3 squared. Uh, which is 27. If we sub in 4 we get 3 times 4 squared uh, which is 48. And if we sub in 5 we get 3 times 5 squared which is 75. So once I've done this I'm now going to take away the 3n squared from the numbers in the sequence which we have I'm going to take these away. So 7 take away 3 is 4. 20 take away 12 is 8. 39 take away 27 is 12. 64 take away 48 is going to be 16. And 95 take away 75 is 20. So what we're left with then is a linear sequence. Now you should be able to work out quite easily the formula, the, well the nth term of a linear sequence and this will give you the remaining bit in the formula for the quadratic sequence. So the formula for this one is quite easy, it's just going up in 4's. So this sequence here is 4n. So this will give us then this last bit of our quadratic formula. So our final answer will be 3n squared plus 4n. So this is the nth term of this sequence here. So there's no value for c. So it's just a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4. Thanks for watching.